Hello guys, I hope you are doing great. Few days back, a recruiter has contacted me on LinkedIn. She was from Germany. She was looking for a senior front-end engineer for her organization, a startup. So uh, she just randomly dropped a mail on the LinkedIn. And uh, in that mail, there was a test. So she has written that if you are looking to join us, uh, this, this test that you can take. And after that, we can consider based on your performance, we can consider you for interview or not. So even though I was not looking for a change, I thought of doing the test just for practice. So when I opened the question, I found out that um, they have given a very simple question. They are asked to implement it in React. So basically what they want to see is if you can code or not in React. So the question was like this. Uh, there was a co co-workers list she has provided. Let's say there are three uh, employee name in the co-workers. For example, Naruto, Sasuke and Sakura. And what she wanted was she wanted to implement an online and offline status toggler over here that uh, any employee can click on the name of the any other employee and by default the status will be online and when user clicks on that the status will turn to offline so the time comp it was a time bounded question and um, they asked me to solve that in under 15 minutes so i did that and i thought it's a very good practice question and uh, why not create a video around this so that's why i'm creating this Let's see how we can create this online status. So the boilerplate is ready. I'll just start coding. So we have the co-workers list. It is uh, added as a default props and that we have three employees name. So because we have to set the default status online, let me map this. So what I'll be doing is I'll be using use test to track the status, the online status of the employees. And let's create the initial state. So because by default users will be online, let's create an initial state out of this. So what we'll do is we'll just create an initial status for all the employees. So uh, online and offline can be traced based on the Boolean value. For example, if the users default value is true the user can be considered as online and if the default value is false uh, the user can be considered as offline so let's create a name uh, because we need a unique representation a unique key to identify the employee what i'll be doing is i'll be clubbing the first name and the last name together to form a unique key and then we can use that to track the uh, employee throughout the uh, component or the application so let's create a name let's say the name is I don't have to do this first name plus v dot last name and then by default we can say that the name will be online so if the value is true that means it's online the user is online and then return the a now we got our initial state let's create the employee status set employee status and then we can use the use state to track the user so we'll pass the initial state to the use state so that by default the employee will remain online now we can use this employee status to track the uh, employer's activity or the online status so let's create a map around this so what we'll do is we'll just basically map them and form a JSX out of it. So here we'll have the first name, the last name, and then we can use this to form the key. So let's say we'll need the name to track the user. And do it over here and then we can say return a due the key for that is the name and inside that we can say the name of the user so 
name is first name and last name and as you can see the names are visible with the live reload and then we can show the status so the status will be let's say employee status and then name and if it's true then we'll say online otherwise we can show offline so if you see currently all the statuses are online only because in the initial state we have set all the status to true and that's why it's online now on click of the name or on click of the component right we have to update the status so if it is online we have to toggle it back to offline otherwise we'll have to keep it online again so let's handle that let's create on click method and set that we'll create a function and handle that so let's say toggle status and to the toggle status because we have to identify right which user has clicked the name what we'll do is we'll pass the name sorry the name as the argument or the parameter so once we got the name because we have used this name as an identifier in the state we can simply set the employee state as what's the current status the opposite of that so that's why i'm using the negation operator it will set the opposite of the current status and then the name so negation will just change the boolean value it will negate it it will change it to the opposite value so if it is true it will change to false and simple as that suppose if i click it employee status is not a function oh sorry my bad it's not a function it's an object see oh so everything has changed to false now let me see where is the error okay so what happened is because it's an object right we don't have to pass a single value over there so we'll have to spread the existing objects and then only change the value of the new one that way so we have spread the values of the existing employees and then after that we have updated the value of the new employee so that's where i have updated the existing spread and then this will override the current name or the existing name with the new status so now if you see i click on this only naruto uzumaki becomes online if i click on sasuke uchiha it becomes online offline so it toggles and same goes for the sakura so i think that's it we have done a very simple example it was fun doing it hope you have learned something new Thank you guys.